It's page number 42 and then second paragraph. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karva Vahai Tejas Minavadhita Mastu Ma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om We'll do Shanti part of this Nishad. Om Shanno Mitra Sham Varunaha Shanno Bhavatva Yarma Shanna Indro Bhaspatihi Shanno Vishnu Rukramaha Namo Brahmane Namaste Vayo Tomeva Pratyaksham Brahmasi Tomeva Pratyaksham Brahma Vadishyami Ritam Vadishyami Satyam Vadishyami Tanma Vavatu Tad Vaktaram Avatu Avatu Maam Avatu Vaktaram Om Shanti 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 Okay, so we are at section 4 and this is where you know the teacher and the student they are together invoking the Om which is the symbol of that Brahman and they, they call it the container of the Brahman, sheath of the Brahman, as though Brahman usme samaya hua hai, they're invoking that usi ko indra kaha gaya yaha pe. And then we are it's just telling you that, you know, may that Brahman fill me with intellectual vigor, may I become the possessor of immortal revelations, or, you know, understand what the Shastras are saying, may my body become able and active, my speech sweet and agreeable to the utmost, May I listen abundant, abundantly with my ears. Means, you know, Ashub, Shub Vagara Sab Sunume. And thou art the sheath of Brahman, is talking to Om, that talking about Om. May you preserve my learning. So, Om ki upasana yaha par ho rahi hai, but with the purpose. And we, we finished um, more than half, looks like. Then let's go from where we did. Okay, any volunteers to read? Go oh, ahead, Niluji. <laughs> Niluji, you can read today. That's fine. I was about to... Okay, let, 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 you can, fine. you know, it's very long. Why don't Niluji do two, two paragraph and you do two paragraph? So that will be less tiring. So Niluji, go ahead. How different from what we understand today is the real declaration of our own sacred book. Wait, where are we? We are utter, we are in the paragraph. Here we are now trying to understand. We are on actually page 42, the second paragraph. The What, what I made, the notification. You may be missing the first line. The paragraph oh. starts. All right, sorry. Yeah, go ahead then. How different from what we understand today is a real declaration of our own sacred books. Here we are now trying to understand the words of a japa mantra advised by the rishis for those students who are slightly dull in order that they may become more efficient in their intellect. The great masters of the Upanishads are not satisfied if their students are highly intellectual but we can emancipate, emanciate it. Today, on the other hand, walk into any university hall and we can surely point out a first-class student for he will invariably be a pale walking corpse which refuses <laughs> to die. Perhaps because he has not the vitality even to pack up his life and depart in peace. In the same university, the sportsman who is well built and beaming with health is invariably marked out for a lucky third class or preferably a sure failure. I think he's just being sarcastic <laughs> over here. Swamiji is very witty, okay? All he's saying that he, the, those rishis wanted the students who are say, dull to get the intellectual capacity and be strong in the body both 
बिकॉज आजकल के जमाने में क्या होता है द पर्सन बोलते ना कि दिस पीपल द अवर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन वी हर्ड दिस वर्ड नर्ड ये वर्ड दिस वर्ड नर्ड नर्ड को ऐसा दिखाएंगे वीक सा बैठा हुआ है चश्मा लगा के एंड जिस पढ़ रहा है उसको दुनिया की कोई खबर नहीं है उसको कोई एक झापड़ मारेगा तो गिर जाएगा लाइक यू नो समथिंग लाइक दैट और वो दूसरे वो जो एथलीट्स है बफ एंड यू नो दे कैन टेक ऑन द वर्ल्ड फिजिकली बट मेंटली दे आर डल बिकॉज यू नो सो हेयर वर्ड दिस बिकम बोथ वाई आर यू जस्ट गोइंग फॉर वन थिंग you know like arjun ko dekh lo he is strong and all that everything right and then he has all these skills and he is like has a intellectual capacity to to understand the shastra that's what he's trying to say he's just making a little you know taunt kar rahe hain hum log ki duniya mein aajkal kya hota hai ki ya to ye hai ya wo hai he's telling ki dono le lo what happened to nilu ji suddenly she got off the screen Are you there, Nilu Ji? I think her thing dropped. You guys can see Nilu Ji. Okay, I think that something must have happened. So, <laughs> Naresh Ji, you are on. <laughs> she will, she will join. Okay, so this state of affairs is suddenly because this state of affairs is suddenly because of a very painful mal adjustment in our educational system. This mantra. by its suggestiveness gives us the hope that there can be a better system wherein a physical health and intellectual accomplishments can go hand in hand and the vision of educationist in the country should be to bring about this consummate happiness so so it's like a all rounder hona chahiye you know oh uh, nilu ji you got suddenly dropped right that's right okay. उंडरी you know because if you just be- go on one angle you don't get a fulfilled life you know so so you got to be everything and i was just thinking that i think i had mentioned that before also that when we went, at- 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 attended that uh, place santipani where krishna bhagwan got his education they had 64 different vidyas that they taught them including music and weaving the basket and cooking and everything and i was just thinking like you know this our this new generation i don't know about your kids but i see in mine certain things they don't know at all even the girls don't know like how to put the button on the shirt you know they, they just don't know and and uh, our son he was like oh i'm going to give this to the that person who, they charge 4 dollars to put a button i said pagal hai kya i can do it in 2 minutes <laughs> and say okay can you teach me but the time never came to teach them but that it's like you got to make some little all rounder and if i think about it they should in the high school only they should teach some cooking also they don't have that a basic because the moment they go to college i mean they don't know what to eat you know lot of them so cooking and little bit of sewing and everything is needed you know so that's why it brings that some they need to make some changes in the education this is really lopsided right now just as a man of resounding knowledge a genius of his age is no more useful either to himself or to the society but becomes only liability if he be in a nursing home or an asylum so to a man with knowledge and health again is a living threat to the society and will bring ultimately a bolt upon their upon the fair face of the sacred culture if he has not a sweet tongue to express, to express his ideas in an attractive way an individual becomes really a pest on the generation if he has not got the tolerance to to give a patient hearing to others and does not try to digest and assimilate the best in them fanaticism and intolerance are the cankers that eat up the best blossom in any period of history 
not only is such a fanatic individual always unhappy in himself, but his mission also will always end in marching his generation into an chaotic state of mutual hatred and general unpleasantness. So, he, you know, he's just telling you that if uh, you don't want to have all these um, intellectual capacity, but then you become a liability if your health is like so weak and you're such a weak person, you won't be able to do anything anyway. And then he's also talking about, we discussed that, that a person has to have a sweet and agreeable speech. That's what, you know, even a kisi ko agar ka mind change karwana hai, to, uh, you know, ekdam opposite ka jhanda leke khade ho jaoge, wo koi ni manega tumhari baat. And that whole couple of verses came in chapter 3, very important one, that when Krishna Bhagavan told Arjun, that suppose if society is going in one direction, wrong direction completely, you know, and you know it, the, what the, how the leader should behave, he should not go and st- uh, stand opposite him and janda leke usi ko crush kar denge <laughs> so so you slowly go with them get go where where they are going and then teach them little thing and make them make a u turn you know the same way with this with you know if you are um, have a completely opposite opinion and if the people are not willing to listen then you got to firstly he's telling that listen to the other side also because you may be fanatic in your thinking. So you got to listen to the other side. And I think with the religion and all that, we become like that way. Instead of, you know, giving them a little leeway, oh, all of them are bad. That's not true. Not all Muslims are fanatics. Not, not all Christians want you to convert. But we have this uh, stereotype in our head, you know. So all that, everything comes under that agreeable thing. So you just, how um, wholesome this whole approach is, that's what they are trying to tell us, you know. The mantra is rounded up with the assertion that Om is the sheath of Brahman. When we are invoking a power and requesting it to bless us with certain special strengths and ability, we must know whether the invoked power has got has got the ability to fulfill our demand. He already said that Om is the very container of for the Supreme. The sheath is invoked just as we do it in our daily life when we actually mean the contain, bring the ink pot, pass me the cigarette case, and so on. In, in all such instances, the request is not a direct demand, merely for the bottle or for the case, but it is a demand for the ink in the bottle or the cigarettes in the case. The mantra here says that the the Om symbol is the sheath of Brahman and therefore invoking Om is invoking the Supreme. So we discussed that here in this verse, it's it's invoking the Om. So Om is the sheath of the Brahman, not Brahman itself. But in one way, if, you know, they say it is Brahman because it contains everything. That is in it. So when we are asking, you know, Om ki upasna kare, it will lead you to that highest, of course. And then he's the couple of points he made that we will only invoke if it has given the it has the power to give you all these things. And that's what you know, some place it, it has come in Bhagavad Gita also, and other question might come. People are afraid that hey, if I pursue that higher self, ye worldly Right? Ye fear hota hai ki ko, I'm giving up the pleasure. But what they are telling you, once you get that highest pleasure, all the worldly pleasure are included in it anyways. Right? That if you're getting some highest bliss and pleasure, then like we don't care about the small thing. If somebody is giving you a billion dollar, you're not going to care about like 100,000. <laughs> you know? That already included in it. Something like that. You know? So... That's what it is that it, it is capable of giving you the highest. And then we already discussed that when they are telling the Upasana Karre Om Kiki Bay, please give me all this and all that, they are actually addressing the Brahman. That's what it's telling you. This mantra is repeated with extreme concentration regularly by the students who desired a more efficient memory and a heightened intellectual cap- capacity. 
in the very scheme of different upasanas narrated in the textbook. The Rishi declares how an individual should plan out his great career in order to live fully the entire implications of the immutable sanatma, sanatana dharma. When an intellect has fully developed and the individual has acquired sweet speech and a mental readiness to receive the new ideas on every occasion, such an individual bubbling with health is fit to pursue the ritual for wealth, which is to be prescribed now in order to acquire great wealth and good fortune. So he's just saying that this this is the Japa Mantra, they call it. And this is for with extreme concentration, you, you students were supposed to chant this every time. And it will increase the memory, heighten intellectual capacity. And in this mantra itself, in the very scheme of Upasana, he's also telling you how they should plan your whole career. So then I think Meena ji had that question that, hey, these are uh, beginning students, but beginning may goal bata denge, so it'll be easier for them to achieve that. A very, very smart thing to do. And um, and then we saw that it's just telling you that all these things needed, you know, a sweet speech and mental readiness and all that. And that person, now they are going to talk about the material gain. And then we'll see why. Because pehle, mental uh, um, bolna chahiye, strength hona chahiye to be able to handle material wealth because in the material wealth agar wrong logon ke paas chali jayegi to they create havoc in society that's what is going to be bolte na ki agar kisi ke paas bahut paisa ho aur mental balance nahi ho we already know kya hota hai you know he will just use everything for the wrong reasons and wrong things and then he will destroy his life only in fact there was I'm sure you guys have, must have heard this. lottery lottery karina pasana, right? I may rich ho and Some people get become rich. They get millions and millions. Suddenly, some poor person got it. And there was somebody who inter who had made his he wanted to research on them. So after 10, 15, 20 years, he interviewed those people. All of them were crying. And they said, We wish that we never got this lottery ever. Our life has become hell. You know, because they didn't know how to handle it. Some of them went and started spending it like crazy because then they all be dead to chad on your because they, they thought and some people invested in wrong things and sometimes the, all the entire family, uh, extended family become their enemy because everybody wanted a piece of pie and they lost their relationship. <laughs> you know, so suddenly somebody gets a wealth like that. It's a disaster. So that's what here they are thinking of everything, you know. So that's what it is. Any question, comment? In fact, Ramadi, there was one lottery winner who was, who was being interviewed on the TV. And he said he had no idea how many relatives he had. Sabhi log bhai ben ban ke saamne aage. True, true, true. So, my love, their life becomes very difficult. And so, you know, the, the Hindi part, remember that there is... One one uh, person has done a Hindi and it's really beautiful. So it's come in a padanita Hindi ka, ye wali shloka. So here it is. Brahma jise vedon ke shloko aur mantro mein sabse shreshta bataya gaya hai. Aur jisne sab jeevon ka roop dharan kiya hai. You know, many fold it's uh, talked about. Jo amar bhajano se janma hai. So basically, you know, it has, Om has come out from all these hymns. Vahi Brahma mujhe amarta ke raaste par chalne ki buddhi aur samaj de aur mujhe amar bana de. He Bhagawan, mera sharir hamesha shakti shali aur furtila ho. Meri jeeb aur meri vani hamesha madhur ho. Mai apne kano se saaf aur madhur suna karu. Jo laukik buddhi se dhaka hua Brahma ka kosh hai. Vahaan, vahi paramatma hai. Sorry. वे मेरे सुने और सीखे हुए ज्ञान की रक्षा करें। So काफी अच्छा हिंदी का translation है, very beautiful. Okay, so we we can kind of start the next verse. It's we may not be able to finish because only fifteen minutes are left. But any comment or question on this? Okay. So the next verse. Is about material gain, and that you know they these.
to spread this knowledge that the student is going to acquire to to many many different people so everybody benefits from it kind of so here is a verse avahanti vitanvana kurvana achiram atmanaha vansa gasi mam gavascha annapane cha sarvada tato me shriya mavaham mavaha sorry loma sham pashubhi sa swaha am mayantu brahmacharena swaha vimayantu brahmacharena swaha pramayantu brahmacharena swaha damayantu brahmacharena swaha shamayantu brahmacharena swaha so yen they are, you can even look at it that they were doing some ritual maybe they were doing a yagna and you they were doing it but look what were they desiring that's what is the question over here so the for before that they they wanted intellectual capacity sweet speech mera kaan acha sune all of that we saw what are they ask let's see the word meaning first and then we'll see what they are avahanti means bringing vitanvana multiplying kurvana producing so bringing multiplying producing without uh, achiram without delay you know jaldi se mujhe ye sab mil jaye atmana herself vasangasi clothes you know um mama mujhe gava is cows ch and annapane food and drink ch again is and sarvada for all the time i be prosperous all the time tata afterwards after what we will see after what they already re- received in the earlier one earlier words sweet speech intellectual capacity all of those things strong body uske baad mujhe ye sab mile that's what it means me is for me shriyam prosperity avaha bring loma sham hairy animals why were they desiring hairy animals because of the wool because you know you need clothing warmth you know himalayas they needed that pashu bhi hi cattle you know cows and all that but that was supposed to be the wealth saha with swaha is you know invoking it ah all along ma to me yantu may come uh, brahmacharya ne celebrate student of brahma vidya basically you know brahmacharya is the one who revels in brahman it is not exactly you know a celebrate only but the you know, wider meaning is the uh, uh, brahmachari swaha is uh, swaha we from various direction ma to me yantu mekam brahmacharena again the celebration students uh, swaha same pra is much in larger number they come in larger number ma to me yantu mekam brahmacharena again so he just telling you each time is saying that but it has a slightly different reason what kind of brahmachari they are asking for that's what it is here when he say brahmachari is mainly saying more students should come to me swaha dam swaha damaya damayantu self control shama or dama that's what it's coming from that you know the one who is uh, indriyas are under control and again brahmacharya ne celebrate student swaha swaha shamayantu means peaceful jinhone man ko shant kiya hua hai brahmacharya ne celebrate student swaha anyway it's just repeating many things but but basically what so in the previous verse we saw there was a japa to increase you know retention capacity that's why they were having them do the japa increase the memory and all that and vivek jag jaye jiska intellectual capacity increases you know a discriminatory intelligence and then also get the physical strength spiritual values speed sweet and agreeable speech that was a previous verse now they are saying that ek is some wealth mile and then we saw that uh, wealth in hands of bad guys and corrupt people is no good for the society in fact becomes a threat for the society they will use it for all bad things so so la- lack of character in rich men that's what leads to all the problems in the society you know so and you know when swami ji wrote this commentary he he said that it seems like or you we know that india mein sab corruption wagera ki wajah se na it was like the good people seem to be poor if you somebody had very much high values you know bechara he cannot get any work done you know 
and the dishonest accumulate all the wealth goose goose they ke ye kar kar ke so he was just saying that it's distortion in the society yahan par ulta bola hai ki jisko ye sari quality hai usko khoob sara dhan mile because wo us dhan ka sabse acha upyog karega you know that's what it is so he's saying that so we saw that they create havoc in the society these people who are bad guys who are wealthy so i think vedic teachers they knew that wealth can be a blessing when the individual has been educated and taught in noble qualities then it's going to be okay so important so and then here uh, the, there was a afterwards the word is there you know tata so after what after i have full discrimination and vivek i have good health tolerance and patience to serve others and then you he is asking for the good fortune not before हमेशा उल्टा करते हैं ना पहले मुझे धन दौलत दे दे फिर आई वरी अबाउट फिक्सिंग माई माइंड नो हियर इज अपोजिट देर सेंग यू नो बिकॉज विदाउट दिस इज कॉन बी डेंजरस यू नो एंड देन वॉट आर दे आस्किंग फॉर दे आर आस्किंग फॉर कैटल बिकॉज इन दोज ओल्डन डेज कैटल मीन्स वेल्थ पीपल हु आर वेल्थी दे हैड बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑल दीज हॉर्सेज एंड काउज एंड वट एवर दे जनरेटेड दैट वॉज अ थिंग सो and then it it said that the hairy animals because in, it used to be cold in himalayas so that's why they're asking for wool so that they will be protected and all that and then very important part over here the wealth was desired so that a higher mission will be fulfilled you know we can we can um, equate it to like uh, somebody having a university you know hey i got wealth now i want to teach other hundreds and thousands of students how to create wealth also right and and plus values so you know they had this the teacher wanted the students to become again you know teachers in a sense that create more students so that it can be passed on to them you can look at it or you can even look at it hey run big universities and all and we did have that takshashila and all those big big universities so um he he is going to mention in his commentary swami ji that this knowledge was supposed to be spread make it available to people let the students come to you so they were not talking about knowledge by force like some of the other religions you know by you know misunderstand their own messiah and all and try to do that way you know force people to, do, to convert and all, nothing like that so this ambition to spread this knowledge and or do all these things was invoked in the students right in the beginning you know okay, somebody is uh, trying to see okay here i need to put this on mute okay i did so this is a healthy way to uh, conducting education and this is what got lost over time according to swami ji in his commentary he's going to talk about it you know so he's saying that because of all that people lost in touch with the hindu scriptures and we already know there were generations that literally mocked at it because they didn't understand what it was you know so he's saying that here if you study this upanishad they will tell it tells you that people were supposed to carry on these this knowledge from generation to generation and they didn't do it so um he made a comment that you know this vedanta is not only a theory to perfect life but perfect living also that's why i said that they are not against material wealth you know value based education like they call it you know so demand of the worshipper is the student of brahma vidya they need to have self control in the outside world and calmness of mind in 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 their inner inward living so there shama and dama that they were talking about over here so that's what this um verse is talking about any question or comment on that anybody wants to add anything we have to really appreciate their vision that how they wanted like an all round thing you know and here is a hindi and then we'll we'll read next time because it's already time so hindi mein unhone aisa bola हे hey भगवान मुझे सदा और बढ़ती मात्रा में धन वस्त्र अन्न तथा पेय प्राप्त हो भेड़ बकरी आदि पशुओं सहित सब 
भोग सामग्री मुझे सदा प्राप्त हो आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान के शिष्य मेरे पास सब ओर से आए दूर और पास से आए मेरे पास सब तरफ से आए ओके okay? आज के ये शिष्य कपट शून्य हो ये प्रामाणिक ज्ञान को ग्रहण करने वाले हो दे आर ईगर टू लर्न दिस ब्रह्म विद्या ये इंद्रियों का दमन करने वाले हो और मन को वश में करने वाले हो ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स मेरे पास आए दैट इज दिस वर्स What do you guys think about this verse? We didn't think that in in Upanishad they always say, "Oh, take to the highest all the time," but here they are covering everything. So they have yeah. this, this section. Sorry, go ahead, Narish ji. They are missing for Kapur Shunya. I mean, I don't think that there are people like that that had existed at any time. Say that again. I'm sorry. What did you say? Yeah, yeah. बोल रहे थे ना Kapur Shunya हो. नहीं वो उसकी वो उसकी इच्छा है Narish ji. It's something yeah. like you know. when we are going to a very good university samjho ha huh? i'm equating it to the modern world if you want to go to go in stanford or you want to go to harvard which is supposed to be like you know top of on the other thing they have a requirement any tom dick or harry cannot walk in there they have a whole process right hey this is a prerequisite and they get thousands and usme se wo best ko chunte hain magar they want more and more people to apply hey that that, that they should be capable and i have heard that you know a lot of them are very capable but they don't end up because they have a limited seat that's a different thing but here they are just wishing that aise log aaye hamare paas brahma vidya ko seekhe fir again they will become the givers of brahma vidya so they are not i know what you are saying duniya mein aisa nahi hota hai ki bhai sabhi aise ho jaye par ye uski ichha hai wo is <laughs> and and you know when you start doing it cha maybe those students will come to you right 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 yeah so i think you know they have the whole uh, brahmanand valli means the brahmanand section on aiga but this is just a beginning but it is very very interesting upanishad because is addressing the early students and yani ki sabhi ko wo bole ke sanyasi ban jao and all householders are also very important group because you know and when we read the commentary they are the ones who support all the four varnas i mean not varna sorry all the four ashrams when you say brahmachari student life householder then you have vanaprastha and you have uh, sanyas right so there are even if somebody becomes a sanyasi from the very beginning usko bhi wo householder support karta hai कभी खाना लेके जाता है कभी कपड़े लेके जाता है उसके लिए नो नो सो हाउस होल्डर वन्ना इज 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 अ वेरी वेरी प्रिविलेज थिंग यू नो हाउस होल्ड बनते हुए यू कैन रीच द हाईएस्ट आल्सो एंड यू यू हैव द यू हैव टू शोल्डर द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ ऑल फोर आश्रम एज अ हाउस होल्डर सो दे आर जस्ट सींग कि हाउस होल्डर को भी कैसा होना चाहिए So I think their vision was uh, absolutely amazing. They thought about everything. You cannot say that they 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 left any stone untouched over here. Every aspect. And even if somebody is uh, you know running a spiritual organization, even maybe then or now, you need the basic things, right, to run it. They cannot run on the air. you know you need all the all the wealth and everything so they're just wishing that that everybody should or a university which is like totally banker out to students ko kya sikhayegi fir <laughs> university has to have everything too so i thought that was pretty interesting the whole thing okay so if nobody has any question or comment we can close सर्वे सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत माँ कशि दुख भाग भवे हरिओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरिओं